Bonjour and welcome to the Tarot of Claude. Today I'm going to be doing your monthly tarot reading for the sign of Leo. Um, I hope you're well, Leo, that you've had a good October month. I'm going to start by pulling out an energy from my Oracle deck. And then I will do a Celtic cross spread um, to clarify all of this. These are general readings. Take what resonates, discard what doesn't. Let me see what kind of energies we have for Leo for November. you get is prey and it says stalked invaded watched okay let me put out a random one a second one for you let's see this one the cards are very thick natural and it's authentic real organic let me put my deck away. Okay, so um, the card of prey is number 31, which equals to a 4, and natural is 40, which equals to a 4 as well. Um, normally, 4 is a number for stability and strong foundations, um, which I obviously really see in the card natural um, when it's talking about being authentic, being real. Um, stalk invaded and watched is a bit of a heavy energy I suppose so we're gonna to have to um, have a look at this more closely and see what's going on with you Leos okay Let's have a look. Position one. Let's see, where am I? Yeah, okay. Position two. What's beneath you? What's uh, above you? Behind you? In front of you? You put them like this. Okay. All right, so um, I'm going to look at the past position first because I think it makes more sense. And you have the Emperor. Now, the Emperor is a major arcana, so it's a major energy in your life path. It's not a day to day thing like with the minor arcana. Um, and what I'm reading here is that you had an Emperor in the past someone significant uh, it's someone the emperor can be very pushy because he's a strong leader and when i look at the card that the oracle um, that i pulled from oracle sorry about stalked invaded watched this is coming from this emperor that you've met in your past and the current situation is you've got the ten of wands which is a card of completion, wants being passion, drives, your spirit. And it's a card of all the hard work's been done and you have been overburdened and you want to drop your, your wants. It is overburdening. And so I'm getting a strong message that you've had someone um, who's been overbearing in a relationship. Now, it could be a romantic relationship, but it could also be a family number, a parent or a brother or a sister, someone's really, really been burdening you. And crossing you is the Two of Pentacles, the necessity to make a decision. And at the moment, you're going through the should I, shouldn't I, you're not quite sure. Beneath you, you've got the Magician. Now, this is your subconscious. And the Magician is a major arcana, and he is the most powerful 
manifesta. He's got everything he needs, the cups, the pentacles, um, the swords and the wands, as you can see on the card, and he can make it happen. And this is in your subconscious. You may not be aware of the fact that you've got everything you need to get rid of this burden that you've been carrying. Above you are your goals and aspirations, and you have the Seven of Cups. Seven is a number of experience, um, assessment, reflecting, and cups are feelings, emotion, sensi sensibility. And so you are assessing your options and opportunities on an emotional level, and there are quite a few. And it may be a little bit overwhelming, but you're, this is where you're at in your head, trying to decide what to do, which obviously with the Two of Pentacles, I can see that you're doing a lot of, mm, should I, shouldn't I? Now, in the immediate future, you've got the Two of Wands. So it's, it's another two, you've got two twos, basically, Two of uh, Pentacles and the Two of Wands. Wands, uh, as I said, passion, um, spirit, that kind of thing, what drives you. And um, you're at a crossroad and you need to make a decision. And the world is your oyster, really. As you can see, he's carrying that, the earth in his hand. Um, and this is exciting. So I think you're going to come out of this indecision that you were experiencing with the Two of Pentacles and you're going to start um, looking at it from an excited point of view. You have a lot of um, options represented by the uh, Seven of Cups as well. Now, um, in the advice or recommendation, you have the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords, um, queens are the um, patient leaders, they're, they're receptive, they're like kings are active leaders, they lead from behind, that doesn't mean they're not powerful, it's just their leadership style. And the swords is to do with intellect, with thoughts, with truths, and the queen, well, she cuts what no longer serves her. Um, she doesn't tolerate BS and she gets rid of it very swiftly and you're being advised by God, the universe, your spirit guides, to get rid, you know, of this relationship that no longer serves you. That's the message I'm getting loud and clear. And in your external influences, you have the Ace of Swords. Now, I like to call this my Epiphany card because Aces are the seed, the new beginning, and Swords are thoughts um, and truths. And this this sword is literally, you know, carrying the crown like, aha! I know what to do now. So something may be revealed to you that's going to help you make that decision and get out of that Two of Pentacles energy that you've been experiencing. And um, you're going to know, well, right, that's it. I'm going to cut what no longer serves me. You're going to be all Queen of Swords. And in your hopes, you have the world. Now, the world is the end of a cycle, completion, its success. It's a very, very positive card. She's mastered all the lessons and now she can move on. Um, and this is a major arcana as well. So this is someone who's um, like graduated uh, on her life path. And that's part of your hopes. And as your final outcome, you get the chariot. Again, um, major arcana. Let me count. So you've got one, two, three four. Yeah, you've got four major arcana, so you're dealing with something very important on your life path. Now the chariot is the card of a, a, a victory, success, um, but after a long battle, um, you know, you can see he's been at war, but he's charging forward. Um, it can happen very quickly, and it is a very, very positive card. So what I'm getting for you is that whoever's been stalking you or has been um, invading you and, and all of that, that emperor that you've got in the recent past, um, this has overburdened you and you've not been quite sure what to do, whether you should, you know, cut, get rid of the relationship or maybe even put a lot of distance between you and this person. Um, but you've got everything you need in order to do this. You've got the magician who's a powerful manifester, as I said, but you're not aware of this. You're not aware that you're the magician, and you are. Um, and you also have the world, world, which is the success card, you know, graduation. You've, um, you've learned all the lessons. 
and you need to embody the energy of the Queen of Swords, which you can't see, hang on, let me show you, of the Queen of Swords and cut what no longer serves you because you are going to be successful with the chariot. So this is a very, very positive reading. The other oracle card talked about being authentic and real. So when you do um, assess your options on an emotional level, just be true to yourself, um, listen to your heart, and um, and then embody the um, the Queen of Swords and um, basically don't tolerate any BS from people anymore. So this is a very empowering reading for you guys. It's looking good for you for November. I hope you've enjoyed your journey through the cards with me. I also offer daily um, tarot reading, which I'm going to leave a card somewhere on this video so you can check them out if you so wish. Um, if you've liked the um, tarot deck and little setup that I've got, I've received all of this from a, book, a box, sorry, tarot subscription box um, called Nine of Earth, which I purchased myself. Okay, I'm not affiliated. Um, and I'm going to leave a um, card for that as well if you want to have a look at the unboxing. It's a really nice box and it gives you loads of nice stuff. Um, so yeah, that's it. I hope you have a fantastic month and I hope to see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir.